from The View. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but about a year ago, I was up very late, and I was watching TV, and I thought I was kind of dreaming or hallucinating or that it was SNL that was uh -huh. on, because I saw this commercial. Take a look. We discovered alpacas about 10 years ago and have developed a great family business. When we first started, I was a full-time medical school professor. And about five years ago, I decided I love the alpaca business so much that I'm now a full-time alpaca farmer. Now, I didn't know if this was a joke or a comedy or what it was, and I didn't know that an alpaca was a real animal. But then I found out, to my surprise, that one of our stage managers, Rob Bruce Barron, raises alpacas, and he's here to tell us all about them. Please welcome Rob to the show! Hi, Rob! Are they llamas? What are they? they uh, they're part of the camelid family. There's llamas, uh, there's camels, there's uh, alpacas, vicunas, and guanacos. How come no one has ever heard of them? Are they like I a mysterious have. animal? Well, they're indigenous to, uh, to South America, and for years, uh, the fleece was known as the fiber of kings. Okay. Now, oh, they're gorgeous. How many do you actually have? Oh. I have 42, and I board 11 at my farm. <gasps> and are they, are they kid friendly? Because my friend Kira loves them, and she's been talking about the wanting to get them. The great thing about alpacas, years. it's a great way to teach your kids responsibility, yeah. and they can train them, they can go to shows, they can compete in uh, uh, costume, halter, and also obstacle courses as well. And, uh, what do you do about them in the summer when it gets hot? You make sweaters? Well, you share them once a year. You share them. You share them in May. And uh, how is the meat? The is it delicious? Uh, <laughs> if you live in South America, I'm sure you'd find out. But up here, it's a pretty expensive steak. Oh my gosh! It yeah. is. What do you have to do every day? Like, what's the maintenance? It of really alpaca? depends on how many animals you have on the farm. But my uh, my routine and uh, Jerry, my farm manager. Uh, we got, get out there for maybe an hour, hour and a half in the morning. Uh -huh. uh, we feed them, we clean up after them. Who uh, does the pooper scooper, you or him? Oh, both of us do uh -huh. it. Yeah. And this is like, <laughs> this can also be pretty profit. Like, how, how profitable is it? And do you have uh, to Because have on the commercial, they yeah. say, you know, I quit my job and now I'm making a living raising alpacas. How do you make a living? Like, right. it, like any other business, it takes some time, but it's, it's basically. <laughs> It's basically all about the fleece, okay? It's, it's about the fleece. It's about the fleece, the bloodline, and, and the thing about alpaca fiber is the fact it's warmer and more durable than cashmere. Oh, I love it. Okay? It's got a thin shaft, so that makes it warmer. Right. And the shaft love lays flat. Love a thin flat, shaft. Yeah. So it's hypoallergenic. Now, we are all you guys wearing, are all wearing we're alpaca, all wearing alpaca we're scarves, yes. material yeah. made scarves and hats. This is oh. alpaca from the... So do you, you shear it and then you sell the sheared stuff? What you do is you shear it, you send it up to a mill, they clean it, they block it, they spin it into yarn, and they send that yarn back to you oh, for so sales. you don't have to do all that stuff? No. Oh. Or you can send it to the alpaca and cooperative and they, uh, they turn it into fashion. Well, do they eat the... I don't want to say it, but is this a food also? Only in South America. Only really? South America. Only yeah. South America. They're, they're, and yes. they're loving pets, and do you get a lot of joy out of it? I get a ball out of it. Really? There, there, there is nothing like on a summer's evening going out with maybe the cocktail of your choice and sitting in the pasture with some alpacas and just letting them come up and <laughs> nibble on your nose. No, really? <laughs> yeah. And they're, and they're friendly. They're, they're very friendly. friendly. They're wonderful. They're friendly to humans and I to like other the way animals. They smell. Absolutely. Yeah, where is that Absolutely. you? Oh, that would be me, Joe. <laughs> Look at their eyes. Well, it's absolutely fascinating. Whoa. Their eyes are magical. Oh, that's, that's the thing that really got me to begin with. They look like Liza Minnelli. And... A little bit. A... <laughs> but can they do a number for us? No. Well, listen, Rob, uh, we thought it was so amazing that you have this whole farm. And um, we, the, the cast of The View, and Barbara included, and Tina, too, mm -hmm. we decided to get you a little surprise gift. Yeah. So guess okay. what? Right. We got you four brand new alpacas. Hey. And here they are. and the Alpaca Owners and Breeders Association of America. For more information, not mashin, about alpacas, go to The View's website or go to iheartalpacas.com. I know that because I've seen the commercial way too many times. We'll be right back with Tony Danza. Don't go away.